We have reviewed a ton of handwriting note-taking apps on this channel, but we still get a lot of questions on individual features. That is why in today's video, we'll be comparing fountain pens across different iPad and Android apps, ranking them from the worst to the best. Like a physical fountain pen, a fountain pen in a handwriting note-taking app is meant to make writing easier compared to the other pen tools. So you use less effort when writing. It should give you a stroke with varying width and different options to play around with your tip sharpness. So these are some of the features we'll be focusing on to evaluate how good these different fountain pens are in the handwriting note-taking apps that are on our list. Before we start our countdown, let's quickly go through apps that don't have a fountain pen. Apple Notes and OneNote on the iPad don't have fountain pens. The apps don't even mention those tools. You then also have some apps that mention fountain pens, but according to our criteria for fountain pens in handwriting note-taking apps, these apps don't actually have fountain pens. So you have Notshelf 3 and Nebo that have more of a calligraphy pen, which they have labeled fountain in their apps. In both apps, the pen stroke doesn't vary. It is also flat, giving you more of a calligraphy look than a fountain pen. So this coupled with the fact that the tools actually lack any customization to personalize them, obviously that disqualifies them as fountain pens for handwriting note-taking app. Samsung Notes on Android also doesn't have a fountain pen because even though it doesn't look like a calligraphy pen like the other two apps, it's really just a good ballpoint pen. It has a very good feeling when you're writing in the app, but it's not actually a fountain pen. With that out of the way, here is our top 10 for the best fountain pens in a handwriting app. Starting off at number 10 is Notability. The app's fountain pen doesn't vary its thickness when you write on the iPad, which should disqualify it as a fountain pen, but it does have the fountain feel to it, which means it's very easy to write with. And that's probably one of the reasons why this qualifies as a fountain pen. The tool also doesn't have options to personalize the fountain pen, and its letter ends are not that tapered. Pressure sensitivity is another feature that qualifies the fountain pen in notability. Even though you can't adjust it, pressing harder when writing does make your pen thickness thicker without you having to go and change the pen thickness. So, Pressure sensitivity across all these apps is probably the biggest difference that differentiates a ballpoint pen from a fountain pen in digital note-taking. So any app that has pressure sensitivity, even though you don't actually get to play around with it, does have a fountain pen. At number 9, we have Squid on Android, which has a similar setup to that of Notability on the iPad. The only difference is that you can actually turn on pressure sensitivity to switch to the fountain pen in Squid. You don't really get much customization for the pressure sensitivity itself, but it's very responsive to how hard you press on the screen compared to the response you get in Notability. The handwriting in Squid also feels much better, which is why it's ranking a little higher than Notability on our list. At number eight, we have Zoom Notes on the iPad, which has a lot of pens, probably the most pens you will find in a handwriting note-taking app. The fountain pen in the app is called a nib pen. That is what the developer calls it, but you can customize it from looking like a ballpoint pen to a decent fountain pen. The app doesn't have a pressure sensitivity option, so whether or not you press hard on the screen, your stroke thickness is not going to change, which is why Zoom Notes is not ranking high on this list. Pressure sensitivity is quite a big deal for a fountain pen in handwriting noting app. You do get several options to play around with in Zoom Notes for your thickness range, 
but ultimately you can get some really thin strokes when you customize the tool. And that range in thickness is also quite typical for a fountain pen. If you like controlling your fountain pen tips, you will not like the fountain pen in Zoom Notes because it doesn't have that option. The tool gets some opacity options though. The more customization you have for your fountain pen, the more you can change it to suit different needs and do different things, the better. At number seven, we have Notes Plus X, or is it Notes Plus 10 on the iPad, which had a very impressive fountain pen a couple of years ago when apps were very few. The tool setting for varying your stroke thickness is still very impressive for a fountain pen even today. At its thinnest, your stroke becomes almost invisible, which is a very wide range if you like that kind of look with your handwriting. And it does make your handwriting look great without much effort, which is exactly what you want from a fountain pen. However, you don't get tip options, so the app determines the type of tips you get and they tend to be rounded at the beginning of your letters and tapered at the end, but you don't really have much control over that. Nose Plus X also doesn't give you pressure sensitivity and opposite options, which is why it's not ranking that high on this list. It's visibly raster ink, which it's already pixelating at the zoom level, is not very impressive. The pen tool in the app has an additional feature, but it's not unique to the fountain pen, but it does give a different character to your fountain pen. And the fill can be any color you like. You can even adjust its opacity, which looks cool and it looks interesting. What do you guys think about this look? Is this a type of fountain pen you would want in your handwriting note taking app? Do tell. At number six, we have color note. The pen tool labeled fountain pen in the app doesn't have any thickness variation in your stroke, so we looked for a better fountain pen. We found it to be the modern calligraphy pen, which gives you a similar look to what you probably get in Notability. It has a negligible thickness variation that you mostly see at the beginning of your letters. You have to try very hard to find it though, so that's not very impressive. It also doesn't respond to pressure, so your stroke thickness is unaffected whether or not you're pressing hard or lightly on your screen. The app has an opacity option, which is always a good option to have for your pen tools. It also has a stabilizer, which allows you to customize your pen in color note. At its most basic, your stroke is not very smooth, but it's very easy to write in the app. You don't have to put much effort. But increasing the stabilizer gives you smoother strokes, but it also increases the resistance in your writing. So you will have to put more effort into writing if you want it to look really good. And that really gives everyone an opportunity to really personalize our fountain pens in the app. At number five, we have GoodNote 6. GoodNote 6 was the first handwriting note-taking app to give tip options for the fountain pen. Your pen can either have a rounded or sharp tip, which in the app mostly affects the beginning of your letters, not the end, but it's inconsistent. You do get some really tapered sharp ends occasionally. Pressure sensitivity is brilliant. In good notes, you can get super thin and thick strokes without having to change your pen thickness just by pressing lighter or harder on your iPad screen. The fountain pen in the app, however, doesn't have any thickness range, so your pen stroke thickness is evenly distributed, which is disappointing for a fountain pen. The app also has an option to flatten your whole pen stroke, giving you a calligraphy look. The more customization for a fountain pen, the better.
At number four, we have JNodes on Android. Without a specific setting, you get quite some disentapped ends that are mostly at the beginning of your letters than at the end in JNodes. You do occasionally get a tapered start, but that's rare. Your handwriting looks much better than it does in GoodNote 6, and it also has a much more pleasant writing experience. The app also has a wider range of pressure sensitivity, and it is way more responsive than you get in GoodNotes. We get some thickness range in JNotes. Nothing exciting though. The fountain pen in JNotes has an opacity option through its colors. At number three, we have free notes on the iPad, which manages to tap both ends of your letters and it simply looks amazing, especially when you're using a thin setting for your pen tool. However, because the tool's thickness range is terrible, the tapered ends tend to look awkward or too abrupt for thicker pens. So that's something you probably notice. It might not bother you, it might. The pressure sensitivity is decent and quite sensitive. A light press creates a very thin stroke and when you press harder, it becomes really thick. And you don't even need to put that much effort to get this feedback from your fountain pen in free notes. The handwriting feel is also quite amazing and it has an opacity option for your fountain pen. At number two, we have Notin on Android, which has the most impressive pressure sensitivity range we have seen in a handwriting note-taking app. The fountain pen stroke becomes significantly thinner the more pressure sensitivity you use. In Notin, this setting also makes your tips sharper, but it lacks thickness range. That should one for a fountain pen because the whole letter becomes either thin or very thick, which doesn't really vary. The tool has an opacity option for your colors, which directly affects the tool, like you have in the setup with JNotes. And its ink flow option, we're still trying to figure out. It doesn't have any obvious effects that jump out of the screen for you to appreciate them, but it's definitely one of the best fountain pens you get for digital note taking. It doesn't have a lot of settings, a lot of options, but it really does produce a very impressive writing experience on a tablet with a stylus. At number one, we have Noteful on the iPad. If you don't like the abrupt tapering on the fountain pen in Freenote, you'll appreciate Noteful because the app lets you adjust that. It smooths out the tapering, so the tapering is not abrupt. Both ends of your pen tool are tapered, making handwriting look good. The app can also increase or decrease the resistance in your writing to make your pen stroke smoother, like you have with Color Note. So, that is an option that you also have in Noteful. And it has a very high pressure sensitivity. A light press against the screen really does make a difference. The only drawback is that the thickness range in your stroke is not the most amazing. It's there, it's not missing, it's there, but you won't be very excited about it. The only feature missing in Noteful for your fountain pen is opacity. The amount of customization you can do for your pen tool in Noteful effectively makes it the best handwriting fountain pen you can have in a handwriting note-taking app. It allows you to really play around with different options to come up with different looks for your pen tool, giving you so much more control, your handwriting experience is a lot better, and it looks the most natural and the most pleasant of all the fountain pens that we've tried in those different handwriting note-taking apps. Do you agree with our list? And which of these do you think looks the best? Do you know any app that should be on this list that we didn't mention? Do let us know so we can try it out. 
And let us know what other feature you would like us to dissect in the future. We hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up. If you did, thank you. Fantastic human for watching. See you in the next video.